Namaste people. So in this video, we're going to see how to create a table and insert some data into it, right? So let's just create two uh, functions here. Uh, it will be a public function. Actually, why am I creating it here? Let's create it in the DB function one, right? So it'll be a public function and it will return a void because we don't really need any output from that. And it will be create table. In the parameters we will need a connection object we we'll call it con and then the table name right and that's it now we will need to create a statement statement object so we will call it a statement only now of course we will need a try catch block I am sorry I did not put a semicolon there now a try catch block so we can catch any exceptions that come out and we'll print the exception if there is one right and now we'll write a query it will be a string query and the query will be it will be very similar to SQL if you know Postgres. So create table space and then I'll append the table name. And then uh, let's have it as an employee table. So we will have an employee ID. Let's make it a simple one. And it's a serial. What serial does in Postgres is basically it's an auto increment int field so it will always be an integer starting from one and it will be auto incremented right so uh, a name let's have it as varchar uh, 200 that should be fine and then address that is also a varchar 200 and that should be it i guess ah uh, yeah we have to make a primary key as well so primary key it will be emp id right so yeah that should be good we'll put a semicolon at the end so that is a query now we'll define the state uh, initialize the statement and the statement will be using a uh, created using con dot create statement so now we have a statement this is like a cursor if you ever use sqlite in python 3 or sql so this is like a cursor so statement is like a cursor so we will just print out and actually we will first execute the query statement dot execute update execute update and then query that's it and then we'll just print it out table created so if we get till this point that means there was no exception right so this should do the job let's see and db dot create not connect to db create table and uh, the connection object will be con and then the table name will be employee right. let's see if this works now is there any problem con oh no I did not save the connection object that comes from here and I'll need to import that as well so I imported this now the connect to DB is actually returning the connection object as we intended it to and we're just saving that in a con variable and putting it here let's run this
so yeah the table is created we can check that as well so if we go to pg admin and we go to tables we'll just refresh it once now we have the employee table as you can see so yeah now we have the employee table so it's successfully created now let's see how to add something in this add some data because that is what we firstly need so let's create a function that will also return a void and call it insert row that will need a connection object then it will need this name and the address we don't need the emp id because that is again as you remember auto incremented using serial uh, something some of these uh, steps are repetitive like creating statement then the try catch block we'll need that in every function so it actually makes it a little easier out what we tell in this print e right now we'll come here and have our query string query will be uh, we'll use string dot format because we'll need to concatenate all of this and I like the format function more than this uh, plus operator overloading or addition operator overloading so we'll use that that is more easier for me especially coming from a c++ background as well as python background but that also was there but yeah so insert into percentages we'll insert the name of the table here and then name address values will be between person s and then person s will put these values in as well right so here we will put the values in so that will be table name oh i did not actually import the table name here so i'll put it here now So table name, name and address, right? Now we can initialize a statement, it's the same as we did last time, create statement. Now statement dot execute update and it will be a query. And then we'll just print it out. Who inserted? Right. So yeah, that should be it. We'll just comment out this one to check this out. So DP dot insert row, and the first one will be. The correction object the second one will be employee the table name the name would be Abhishek and then the address let's call it just India for now let's see if this is created Right, so the row is inserted. We can check it using a function or read function. We'll do that in the next video. But if you want to check it without that function here, you can check it directly from the uh, this as well. So let's just say you edited data from here and all rows. 
so this will just execute this query right here it will open the query editor so as you can see here is my da uh, table data and so this is inserted here successfully so if you want to get this data in our application as well through the program we'll do that in the next video thank you so much for watching this video and continue with the next video for sure thank you